Okay, then, Bertha, you know that uh, one of the things I always ask, <laughs> and I always, this is the second time we <laughs> get, but I told you that uh, what I would also like uh, to, to talk with you about is besides knowing a bit about you and your ideas and your experiences, if you could share a, a moment that really uh, was has the impact in your life, mostly a, a strong moment or a, or a sad moment. So if you have that half pipe <laughs> moment, <laughs> what, what would you like to, to share? Um, when you explained me that and when you, we were talking about that, I, well, a lot of things came on my mind, obviously, and there are a lot of personal aspects that uh, I would explain, but I don't think um, I would because mm. it's my personal life. So I prefer to speak about something related on hockey. And it was a life experience and a life lesson, I think. And that was when I was 19 years old and I started to be in the national team and start. it was my second year in there. And we had the Olympic qualifiers in Belgium. And we were favorite, the favorite team to win that competition and to be directly qualified for Olympics in London, 2012. Right. And all my life, seeing my sister being at the Olympics and seeing my family play and stuff, I thought being in a Olympic Games was easy or at least normal. Like, right. I could do that and I would be at Olympics 2012. Yeah. And when the time came and it was my moment we didn't qualify and that was a really uh, I don't know it was a really hard moment because I realized that everything I worked for during all my life when I was a kid and I was 12 years old and I started to play with the national team I saw myself in 2012 in London and at the moment we didn't qualify it was like a cold glass of water mm. and you have to change all your projects because all you expected it's not there suddenly i had holidays which i didn't have since i was 12 uh which i appreciate maybe but i didn't want that at that point mm -hmm. i would i wanted to be at the opening ceremony of an olympic games I remember being in Italy when the Olympic ceremony was uh, being done and I told to my boyfriend, let's go to a restaurant because I cannot watch that. Right. And in the middle of the, the dinner, I started to cry and he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, yeah. I don't want to watch it, but I want to watch it. So <laughs> I remember stopping having dinner and I we went to the, <laughs> to the apartment to watch it, but I watched it crying. Oh, yeah. because I, I had to be there and I wasn't. And then, yeah, after that moment, it changed all my life because at that point I thought, okay, now I cannot uh, keep training and keep being at the same league and staying in Spain. I needed a change. Right. I know it was the right thing to do for my mind and for everything. And that moment was the moment that I decided I was leaving to Belgium to, to, to learn a new language, to have a different experience, to know new people, a new hockey style, and to see how I, I was doing by myself because I always have, had been with my parents and my sisters and they are so older than me. So I had three moms and three fathers because that was it in my family and I wanted to know how it was Berta by herself. And after that non-qualification, that's what I need, needed. And so Berta, what, what was, I feel that there was the need of challenge yourself or to, mm -hmm. to, to put yourself in a different environment, but it feels also there was somehow you felt that I want to go away from maybe everything that is related with that disappointment or, or I want to mm -hmm. go, I need to be away from this heavy <laughs> memories yeah. or this heavy situation. You, you I like think I had to be out of that routine. Like you have been training 
all your life in a country for something and suddenly it doesn't come. And I think sometimes changes are uh, a refreshing, yeah. yeah. Necessary, something necessary. yeah necessary to refresh yourself and your mind and i think that was a key moment and even if i was young i knew uh that my parents were saying i was so young and stuff but it was what i needed and i will never regret that decision uh belgium gave me everything gave me a new language i started my studies there uh in another language which i would never expect one year before starting my studies there, I knew new people, new friends that now I will count on them all my life. Uh, different clubs, uh, which felt like my family and you know the experience because mm -hmm. you're experiencing that in Holland, in Belgium or in Germany. And I think that is something that is, uh, that's changed you in some point that uh, anything else could change you. Right. Um, that gives you some experiences, moments, uh, people that cross your path that you would never expect, and maybe you will never see see them again. But they always l make you learn something new, and they open your mind. And especially if you came from a small town like like I do, I think yeah, it really changed me personally, and I think it's something that I will keep with me forever, like memories, uh, moments, um, experiences, values, everything. And then when you, so you went to, to Belgium, you left Spain mm -hmm. and, um, and now you returned to Spain. Uh, but do you consider maybe uh, returning to Belgium or you are good to stay now in Spain? But that was just an experience that is not clear <laughs> in your mind. I always uh, think year by year. Uh, if I am honest, I expected to come back one year and then maybe um, being open to, well, my dream that would be playing in Holland. Right. Now that the Olympic Games uh, has moved, uh, it's making that a bit difficult because, well, it's not the, the same going to Holland when you are 27 or 28 that when you are 30. Well, it's all, it's, Everything is possible, I think. Of course. But in my chronology, it it changes a bit. My uh, let's see. My let's point see. of view. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think I'm always open to new experiences. But anytime, like um, evaluating, okay, what's the pros? What's the con? The the contrast, and also here, I I'm so happy, and I didn't remember what it felt to be with your family, friends nephews um, because they are kids still and when I left to Belgium they were babies yeah, yeah, so yeah. I didn't enjoy them a lot so now being home it's like uh, I'm so happy yeah. being able, able to call my best friends and going for a coffee or watching a film with my family or with my nephews I'm so happy so I think anywhere you go if you are happy um, you will do it and you will feel which is the best decision at that point. So I will see when the moment and, comes. And Bert, coming to, to your to the situation you explained about the disappointment of missing out the, the Olympics 2012 in London, but then you managed to to make it to, to Rio, Rio de Janeiro. And I mean, what was a huge disappointment i can imagine that was also then a huge uh, uh, moment of, of happiness and, and fulfillment and, and achievement so when you made it to rio did you think back about the disappointment in, in, in london or how did that moment help you or yeah i think that non-qualification made us change our minds and to identify that the working philosophy was another one. And at that point, that was like, Adrian helped us a lot. And he just bring a working way that maybe at the beginning was so difficult to, you know, to change that. It's gradually, um, but 
that made us rebound and to see, okay, this is the way that we want to work. This is the team that we want to be. We also did a lot of meetings about uh, how we wanted that our team identity would be. Uh, and we keep doing those those meetings. And I think it's really important to have an identity and the pineapple helped a lot because there's something that everyone feels like that. And with some someone new comes, they need, to to be, be, they need to be yeah, pineapple. They need to be that because if not, they feel out of the team. Yeah, yeah. So it has to be that way and you feel that. And I think that made us work so hard and the real qualification was so... I, w I would say crazy mm -hmm. because uh, there were several world leagues and stuff. Right, the usual. And we had to wait six months to know if we were qualified. And I remember those six months were horrible because I'm you sorry. have to train like as if you are going to Rio, but you yeah. don't know. No. Uh, we had camps where we had so difficult moments, like team difficult moments crying also going to train and do the physical sessions crying and that make us uh stronger i think and the day that um fih made official that spain was going through olympics i remember watching that and saying wow i went running to my parents and my father was crying my mom was crying everyone crying uh, i don't know i feel it like I remember it like being so happy and saying like, well, now we can say that we are at the Olympics. Then you have the selection and everything, but at least you know you can fight to be at the team that will go to Rio, which I was waiting for that all my life. So I think it was like, a, yeah, a, a blessing thing for, for all the team.